Dude, Tim, wake up. Tim, wake up. Wake the fuck up, man. Five more minutes. Wake the fuck up. We're going to be at work in an hour. All right, all right. Jesus. This is the last time, man. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Next time, we've got to take the last train. You got a bad attitude, dude. You're a bad wingman. If you would have worked harder last night, we could have scored. We gotta go! <sighs> you look like you're gonna puke. I don't feel so good. Look like shit. Oh, thank God you're here. Okay, Alice, I want the three of you to go and sit down. Thank you. For many years, I have a dream. My dream is teddy bears teaching English. Teddy bear is soft, lovely, cuddly, sweet, and everybody loves teddy bear. If everybody learns English from teddy bear, soon Japan will become great again. I want to tell you that. I have faith in you. You are the future of this company. Before, you just English teachers. Now, you are Teddy bear English teachers! Now, Steve shows a commercial. Okay, guys, now we're hoping to generate a lot of new business. Now that we're part of a new company, Teddy Bear English will be airing this new TV commercial. You'll be seeing it on TV frequently. Along with the teddy bear ad campaign, it stars our very own Teddy. Teddy, stand up. Please take a bow. Give it up for Teddy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go shopping. I'm happy. 
Okay, that's the commercial. I know you guys have your lessons to prepare for. Uh, we'll be implementing the Teddy Bear English program from now on. If you have any questions to ask me, feel free to ask me later on. This is a nightmare. There is something wrong here. This teddy bear looks demonic. This is just some corporate bullshit. It's got no effect on our daily classes. But what about the teddy bear English program? No, oh, just ignore it. Don't worry about it. Do your lessons. I love this shit. Teddy bear English. <laughs> Bring it on. Well, here's the schedule they made. You guys smell like shit. Don't you take, you know, showers? It's my natural fragrance. You smell like shit. You look like shit. You're wearing the same outfit as yesterday. Oh, which is shit. When are you gonna grow up, Don? Hey, hey, I, I, it, it was Tim. I wanted to go home last night. He's the one that wanted to stay out all night and sleep in a train station. Hey, the first lesson today is that girl, Yuka. Who? Don't you remember I told you about her? She's perfect for you. If she's so perfect, then why aren't you going for her? Well, she's a little, uh, she's not my type, okay? Anyway, the point is, today's the day, all right? You gotta get her number. All right, I'm taking a break. Tim, Tim, come back for a sec. You should do your own lesson. Where's your black book? No, what? Your black book. Come on, where is it? Get it out. What are you talking about? Your date book? You know, your black book where you keep girls' numbers? I, 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 I must have left my black book at home. What, what's your point? Right. You don't have a black book. That means you don't have any... Pa -pa -pa. Pa -pa -pa. Paper? Pro. Pro. Pro wrestling. Prospects. You have no prospects. You've got no numbers. You got nothing. Your life is an empty show. You're an empty man with nothing to look forward to and nothing to live for. I'm giving you a reason to live. Now go in there and don't let me down. Make me proud. Oh, new English teacher. Happy! Here I am. Oh, you have a small head. You look like all out of bloom. You look like Yoko Ono. Who? Never mind. No, let's stop. Tim told me all about you. That's... This whole office smells like puke now. It's all part of the teddy bear program. Did you get your number? 
You guys better not be dating your students again. I got her number, but... But what? What's the problem? There's a big problem. Well, what is it? Spit it out. She was wearing a swastika. You idiot, that's not a swastika. It's called a manji, a Japanese symbol for Buddhism. Yeah, Alice, I know what a manji is. This was no manji. This was a full-on SS Nazi stormtrooper swastika she was wearing, I tell you. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Anybody what? can tell the difference. What got your mind? Set me up with a Nazi. She ain't no Nazi. Yeah, well, this is too weird, and I'm not going to have anything to do with that girl. <laughs> Come on, she's perfect for you, I'm telling you. Well, I'm not going to date a girl who wears a swastika. The only swastika that you should be worried about is the one in her pants. Oh, would you guys shut up? We have bigger problems to worry about. What bigger problems? Have you seen the teddy bear lesson book? You told us not to worry about it. Yeah, well, you haven't seen this, okay? I mean, all of these lessons are about teddy bears. That's 150 lessons about teddy bears. But this is crazy. There's no way we can do this. Yeah. It does seem a little extreme, the whole teddy bear, everything. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's a change of pace. Change of pace? Imagine yourself teaching teddy bears for the next year. I mean, this is crazy. We gotta talk to Steve. This can't go on. Mm, yeah, I agree with Alice. What was Steve thinking? All right, we'll talk to him. When we get up there, let me do the talking. Fine with me. Fine with me. Steve, we need to talk. What? Have you seen this textbook? We can't teach this. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's with all the teddy bears? Oh, it's a little bit extreme, don't you think? Extreme. Extreme. You think it's extreme. You think it's fucking extreme. Is that what you fucking think? Is that what you fucking think? Steve, dude. Take it easy. Take it easy? Take it fucking easy? You guys think you're the only ones who are being fucked in the ass by this bear. What? Take a look. Go on, take a look at this ass. Take a good Look at this ass. Go on. Look at this ass. You. You. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. You guys do not know the meaning of getting fucked. Mark my words, the worst is yet to come. You all need this drink. Go on, go on, pick up your cups. To Teddy Bear English. To, to teddy, teddy Bear, bear English. English. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Teddy bear, teddy bear, teddy bear. <laughs>
Okay, guys. As part of the Teddy Bear English program, every day we are going to be doing the Teddy Bear English Pledge. To get us started, today we have Mr. Matsumoto here to lead us. Thank you, Mr. Steve. In Japan, we have special office customs to begin the day to give us good spirits for the company. You will love it. One, two, a uh, one, two, three, four. Learning the ABCs, teaching the mysteries of English words. Faithful and diligent, always intelligent, English is elegant with teddy bears. Keeping our office clean, behaving like a tip, nobody is That was a wonderful job. I don't know about you guys, but I feel very inspired. Uh, so you guys have your lessons to prepare for. And don't forget, this afternoon is the opening party. Mr. Matsumoto, I'm, may I have a word with you? I'm a little confused about this lesson book that you gave us. I don't exactly know how you want us to teach these lessons. Iris, may I ask a question? Do you trust me? Well, I've... No, 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 no. Do you trust me? Oh. Well, I, I don't really know you very well. Let me tell you something. You think what you must do. You must believe teddy bear. Everyone loves teddy bears. I love teddy bears. Who doesn't love teddy bears? Ice. Ice. Do you love teddy bears? You gotta have a game plan, buddy. What are you gonna do if Yuka comes to the party tonight? You mean the swastika girl? Swastika girl. Whatever you want to call her. Look, I've got girls coming here tonight. You think Papa Tim's going home empty-handed? I'm picky. You're not picky. I'm picky about women. And I'm not really sure if I'm interested in this swastika girl. It's not about being picky. It's about seizing your opportunities. Now, I've done all the work for you. I've wounded the animal. You just gotta go in for the kill. I wash my hands of you. I want nothing to do with you. You stay on your side, and I'll stay on mine. All right? Don't blow this, Donny boy. No, you're dead to me. Don't go home empty-handed. How many times do we have to go over this? Why won't you believe me? How am I the only person that noticed this? All right, all right. If you can procure evidence of the existence of said swastika, Alice will buy you lunch tomorrow. I'm, I'm not buying 
him lunch? Ah, so you admit there was a swastika? N no, no. Okay, okay, fine. But if there isn't a swastika, then you're on cleaning duty for the next month. Ah, there was a swastika, and I'm going to prove it to you. Yeah, that's right. Show us the swastika. Okay, guys, uh, two bottles of scotch, one bottle of vodka, one bottle of rum, one case of beer. Here, somebody needs to make a rum. I was in Vietnam for three years. Interesting. But have you ever considered this? Many foreign men come here in power because of all the attention they get from Japanese women. You know, the cool Western guy and money in his pocket. Charisma man. And then he basically starts to lose his compassion and perspective. You know, you have a good point. Thank you. That's totally true. I see that. No, it's refreshing to have a conversation like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very rare for me to have someone that I can really uh, communicate with. Tim. <laughs> the fuck's the matter with you? I gotta talk to you. 
Puck. I think this girl wants to go home with me and I don't know what to do. You open the door, put one foot forward, step outside. We just had a conversation for 20 minutes when nothing was said. What do you want to say? I don't know if I have anything in common with this girl. It sounds like you got one thing in common. Well, I don't even know what we're talking about. Pirates of the Caribbean? What do I know about pirates? It's like... Get your shit together. What is this dilemma? You're in Japan, man. You can't get a fucking date. Do you know how pathetic that is? Go get that swastika. I don't know if it's right to go home with a girl that I have nothing in common with. I'm not sure if I even like her yet. <sighs> Look, that comes later. She's a 20-something Japanese girl, man. What's not to like? You're too uptight about sex. Learn to enjoy yourself. Yeah, you're right. What's the, what's the big deal? I've got as much right to enjoy myself as anyone else. Anyone else? I'm a good looking guy. You look like Orlando Bloom. I'm not hurting anyone. <laughs> no one. Who are you hurting? Don, I want you to go back in there and enjoy yourself. Alright, I'm gonna do it. You know, those teddy bear posters are really starting to grow on me. Nice place you have here. Thank you. I got the bathroom. Oh, okay, take your time. You. I love you too! Learning the ABCs, teaching the mysteries of English words. Faithful and diligent, always in 
So did you get up to anything last night? No. Why? What oh. did you get up to? Oh. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, my good friends, how are you this fine morning? Sleep well last night, Alice? Have a good time? How about you, buddy? I think little Donnie was up to something last night. I'm in trouble, man. I'm in big trouble. What? What's the problem? I slept with that girl last night. Yeah? How was she? You don't understand! I, I can't be involved with this girl. I can't see her again. Nothing. Why? Why are you freaking out? We've got nothing in common. There's nothing there. We can't be together. You just spent one night with her, man. It's not that big of a deal. Just relax. No, you got me into this, you have to get me out of this. Get you out of this? You should be thanking me. Do you know how much work I put into getting you into this? Now you want to get out of it? Just relax. Keep her as a backup. No, no, I can't see this girl again. What is so bad about her? She's got nothing going on in her head. Nothing. But she wrote me in. I'm trapped, man. You're the one that got me into this. Encouraging me, cheering me on. You should have just left me alone. Look at me. I'm a loser. And I'm a terrible person. Who am I kidding? I took this innocent little girl, this innocent flower. I defiled her. How am I supposed to live with myself? How do you live with yourself? All you think about is sex, sex, sex. Hey, did you find the swastika? You know what? I couldn't find it. No swastika. So she's not a Nazi. There you go, you're in the clear. Yeah, great, I'm in the clear. I mean, my mother always said to me, Don, all I ask is that you don't marry a fascist. Look, man, I got some gossip that'll cheer you up. Alice left with Kazu last night. No way. Do you think that they really... Really what? Fucked. Fucking... Porkin. Laying down the lumber. When are you guys gonna finish your little chit-chat and do some fucking work around here? Speaking of fucking Alice, Don and I just kinda wanted to know, did you fuck that guy last night? I'm gonna fucking kill you guys. Just so you know, I, I had nothing to do with this. It was all... <laughs> no, no, no. Both of you guys, the two of you, walking around here like you're kings with your little student sex ring. You know, you do whatever you want. You don't respect anybody. And then you no, go no, around... No, 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 no. Hey, what did I do? Not me. No, Don, you're even worse than him, okay? You act like Mr. Innocent, but the truth is, you're a loser and a pussy. Oh, let's not be too hard on the little guy. I mean, come on. He's trying to compete with me. Shut up. Oh guy. Shut, shut up. D don't patronize me. If you weren't in Japan, you'd have nothing. You'd have no girls. You'd still be in your parents' basement, eating hungry man dinners, jerking off. <laughs> Listen to this guy. He finally gets laid last night by one of my sloppy seconds, no less. And now you think you're Hugh Hefner. Sloppy seconds? What is that supposed to mean? Have you slept with Yuko? No. You did. You slept with her. You guys are disgusting. You're despicable. You would never get away with this kind of stuff in the real world. Do you have any morals? Morals? I happen to notice a peculiar object on the left index finger of a man that you were seen kissing last night. 
Alice. How could you? He's dead. Teddy's dead. You gotta get him out of that suit. Quick, before the police arrive. Alice! I want you to go inside and act normal. Don and Tim, get him out of that suit. Are you crazy? He just got hit by a car. This is a hit and run. Shut up. There are bigger things at stake. Get him out of that suit. Well, what do you want us to do with it? Bird. How are we going to burn this? What are you, a pyromaniac? We're just going to throw it in some bags and toss it in here. Steve's not going to know the difference. This school is falling apart, man. It's coming apart at the seams. I'm going to start looking for another job. <laughs> I don't know, man. We got a pretty good deal here. We got good hours. We make our own hours. It's low pressure. Nobody's on your ass. I just don't know if this is what my mother envisioned for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I have a really, really bad feeling about teddy bear English. You're crazy. You worry too much. Alice really scared me today. I really didn't like seeing her like that. She'll be fine, okay? It was good for her. She's just letting off some steam. What are we going to do about our lessons today? I don't know. Maybe you better check on that. Donald, how was your lesson yesterday? I came out and you were gone. What happened? Well, I finished trashing Teddy and happened to get a call from our lady friend, so I hit the road, Jack. What's the matter? You look troubled. Ten emails. Ten. So did you hook up with Yuka last night? No, oh, I made an excuse, but she won't stop sending me these crazy emails. Oh, you're exaggerating. No, take a listen to this one. Can you imagine how happy I feel right now? I'm very, 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 very happy thinking about you. 
I hope you're thinking about me too. I will be thinking about you in the bed. I always think about you. Mm, she does sound a bit like a bunny boiler. What more is there to say? What is a bunny boiler? You never saw that movie? Uh, Steve's coming down. Uh, he wants to talk to us. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Oh, asking me questions? I don't answer questions. Okay, now, we have to accept the fact that Teddy is no more. That Teddy has got on to a better place. However, Teddy is not really gone. In fact, on pain of death, no one shall speak of Teddy's unfortunate accident outside of this school, so help me God. Don't test me on this. Steve, are you all right? There's no time for that now. Time is of the essence. It is imperative that someone pick up the mantle of Teddy and carry it forward. And that someone is sitting in this very room. And his name is Don. What? No, why me? That, this doesn't make sense. Don, you're the only one that can do this. Think of it as an honor. What about Alice? What about Tim? This is a man's job. I'm not going to argue. What about Tim? Uh, I'm not a man. Don, I have given this a lot of thought. A lot of thought. No one can do this but you. We can all agree that you are the next Teddy. Why weren't you at the meeting spot? Well, never mind that. So, what's the news? You have got nothing to say. I can hardly got you to shell up usually, and today, nothing. Well, that's okay. I imagine. You are going to make me a detailed report. Listen, the big days is coming up. You have to keep a special eye on you know who. Are you listening to me? Pay attention. Now everything is going according to plan. We just need to be careful these next few days. Understand? Good. Okay. I'm counting on you, Teddy. You are my special Teddy. Soon, Grand Teddy Bear Design will come to pass. And then, we'll be sitting pretty. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> mm.
Get out. Teddy, don't screw this up. with this. But, uh, hi, uh, who are you? I'm Kumiko. I'm Arisa's friend. I'm waiting for Aris. I'm Don. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm the office bear. You don't look very ferocious. I'm a nice bear. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you and Alice know each other? We were in the Air Force together. Did you kill anyone? Um, a few. Not as many as Alice did. Uh, so, no, seriously, how do you know each other? We met at a scuba diving course. Are you serious? Would I lie to you? I don't know. Oh, sorry, that ran a bit late. Um, all right, let's go get some lunch. Okay. Hey, Alice! What? What's up, young fella? Did you see that girl? Alice's friend? There's something about her. <laughs> hey, Alice! Uh, who's that friend of yours? No. No, what's no? Whatever it is, no. I was just gonna ask about it. Well, don't. What's her problem? That's the bear suit. You know, there's something about that girl that I really, really like. Ask her out. How am I going to ask her out? Just fucking ask her out, dude. I don't have a phone number and there's no way Alice is going to help me. You don't need Alice's permission. If only I could run into her again. I'm not going to see her again. If only I had one more chance to talk to her. Dude, Alice left her cell phone here. And so what? So I can find that girl's number for you. Did you get her name? Yeah, it's Kumiko. Oh. No, you can't do that, man. Relax, okay? She'll no, never notice. Tim. Ku Yi Ko. There you go. It isn't your next lesson, Yuka. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? Do your lesson. No, no, what am I gonna do, man? I gotta get out of this somehow. Why? What's the big deal? Just keep her on the back burner. No, I can't do that. I felt something special today. There's something special about Kumiko. I yes. saw something inside her. Yes, she has nice tits. You speak to your mother with that mouth? No, I need to get rid of Yuka. I need some way out. Maybe you should try lesson 43B. What are you talking about? Teddy gets a divorce. Are you serious? There, take a look.
You really think this will work? Yeah, use the lesson to break up with her. Perfect. Oh, I don't know about this, man. Trust me, okay? You can't fail. It's foolproof. Okay, uh, today uh, we're on page 21. Uh, lesson 43D. Teddy gets a divorce. Uh, so, oh, looks like there's a little role playing here. Uh, so, I'll be Mr. Teddy, if that's alright with you. Okay! Good, alright, so that makes you Mrs. Teddy. Uh, so we'll go from the top. We need to talk. I can't go on living a lie. Why don't you love me anymore? Tim! You gotta work your magic. We need more students. We need to think of more ways to use Teddy for promotion. Don needs to be in that suit all day. This man has talents, Steve. Why are you squandering his abilities? Uh, yeah, if he gets more students in the door. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said you liked me. You are a liar. I hate you. And I hate Teddy for English. Huh? Huh? I told you that would work. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. Women don't want a compassionate guy. They want a beast! While you're out there wondering whether you're compatible with some girl, I'm out having an orgy with nymphomaniacs! <laughs> I love it! I love Japan! <laughs> Forces of good and evil that rule the universe are always on it. Having too many plastic.
plastic or metal objects in your apartment will lead to a drain on your vital energies. There are seven steps to remove my night. Every night when I'm alone, I commune with my spirit guide. She tells me to avoid caffeine and spicy foods. Listen to the cat meat and the bane dog. Hey, buddy. Leave me alone. Team, just don't talk to me. Aw, oh, come on, buddy. What's the matter? Gubba gubba. Come on. You are one stressed out dude. What's bothering you? Tim, you have led me astray. You, you have led me astray. Every time I take your advice, I get fucked. Well, that's it. I'm done with you. No more. Pray tell, young Donald, from whither does this ill humor come? You are a bad friend. Oh, I take umbrage of that. I'm full of umbrage. Does one blame the street sweeper for the potholes? Does one blame the barber for the baldness? Does one blame the boatswain for the cannonballs? Your imputations prick me. Why must I suffer such slander? Tell me that. Tell me that, young Donald. I've had enough of you. You hook me up with these girls that I have no business being with. You made me wear the teddy bear suit. That looks good on you. And you made Alice hate me. Well, that's it. I don't want you to be a part of this. I want you to stay out of me and Kumiko. Stay out of my sex life. What sex life? Dude, I got you Kumiko's email address. Why are you biting the hand that feeds you? No, no. You are not a part of this. I did all the work. I sent her the email. She talked to me. I asked her out. I made the connection. Well, good luck to ya. You. Oh, you are so dead. How did you get Kumiko's email address? What are you talking about? Don't give me that shit. You think you can stalk one of my friends and get away with it? Stalk? I just sent her an email. Yeah. And I want to know how you got her email address. Tim looked into your phone and gave it to me. What? It was just sitting there. You never told us we couldn't look in it. How dare you? How dare you touch my personal property? How dare you? What's the big deal, okay? Give the guy a break. Why can't Don have a shot with Kumiko? Kumiko wants nothing to do with you. She thinks your email was really creepy. And she wants to know why I gave you her email address, which I never did. Stop emailing Kumiko. Stay away from her. As for you, you're on my shit list. Stay away from me. Alice, have you seen my hole puncher? Not now, Steve. 
So you haven't seen it? Gotcha. You have your little game here, yeah? Let's gang up and laugh at Steve. It's all a big joke to you guys. Uh, Steve, we don't know what you're talking about. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the truth. I'm looking for a little peace of mind. Is that too much to ask for? I've been in Japan 20 years. I'm just looking for a little stability. A little marital fidelity. Is that enough for you guys? I mean, I, I mean, I know I'm just a big joke to you guys. Steve, what's the matter? We're on your side. Let us help you. Oh, you're trying to help me. You're trying to help me, huh? Is that what you were doing? Helping me when you were fucking your students? If that's your idea of helping me, fucking your students, well then you've helped me quite a bit, haven't you? Steve, Steve, you're sick. You need to lie down, put your feet up. Find the Dean Martin, you know? Stop fucking around and give Steve back his hole puncher. Oh, Alice, you tried to help me. But you can't help me now. I've lost everything. And now I'm going to lose the school. Nobody can help me now. It's okay, Steve. It's fine. Everything will be all right. All is lost. I'm a broken man. I can no longer serve you. I leave all of this in your hands. What's that? I'm coming. I can hear, I'm coming! That guy is not well. Did he just leave? Did he just leave us? He left the building. I don't think he's coming back. He just had a nervous breakdown right in front of us. What the fuck are we gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. The rest of my lessons. <laughs> don't do your lessons and you won't get paid. <laughs> oh, I'll get paid. Papa Tim always gets paid. Who's going to write the schedules? Who's going to do the payroll? Um, someone needs to call Matsumoto. We can't handle this on our own. Alice? Did Kumiko really say I was creepy? I really need to know. Don, this is not the time for your bullshit. Okay, forget about Kumiko. I can't forget about Kumiko. We had something. She's special. You weren't there. She's special.
What are you doing? Nothing. We need to have our ship together. Matsumoto is going to be here soon. Don't you have a lesson? I don't know if I have a lesson. Do I have a lesson? Well, here's the schedule. Which lessons do you normally teach? Else, you know, we've had a bunch of cancellations. Okay. Which lessons have been canceled? Well, anytime the students find that Steve's gone, they cancel. Which lessons exactly? Look, Are I you even writing this down? This anymore. I feel like I'm being harassed. Well, everything's getting canceled, and I guess we don't need these anymore. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ooh! Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm on fire! Can't be stopped. Mm. Alice, what am I doing today? We have to figure out what lessons we're teaching to... No. We need to figure out what we're doing today, okay? When Matsumoto gets here. We need to have things under control. We're fucked. I mean, what are we going to tell them? That we lost Steve, but hey, on the upside, we still got five students left. Well, we need to think of the right way to explain that to him. We need to show him that we can handle this. I mean, I am not working with that nut around every day. Yeah, we have to make sure he likes what he sees. We have to keep him out of our hair. Well, Don, you're good at making excuses. What would you say to him? We should just lie to him. Well, if he walked through the door now, what would he say? What are we going to say to him? Well, he's going to ask about Steve. He's going to come in, and he's going to ask about Steve. So, all right, all right, Tim, you're Matsumoto. Yeah, you're him. Yeah, so go. All right, all right, I'm Matsumoto. I'm Matsumoto. And I love teddy bears. Where's my teddy bear? Come on, where is it? Bring him to me. I'm lonely. You know, he wasn't feeling too well, and he went home. Did you hurt teddy bear's feelings? Did you make him cry? That's what you always do. No, no, no. Not I. Teddy bear could never cry. He's tougher than you think. Okay. All right, you guys aren't doing it right. You're doing it wrong. Just stop. Wait! Where's Steve? Steve! Uh, they went home together. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You did something. I can see it in your eyes. What did you do? That's enough. You killed him! You killed Steve. You murdered him. Who? Me? You yeah, cut up into little pieces and you ate him, didn't you? Okay, you guys, just, okay. Tim, I should never have asked you. This is serious. What are we gonna do? All right, when... fine, Alice. Fine. Why don't you do it? Yeah, what? don't touch the expert, Alice. Then. No, come on, let's go. I can't do Mo that. I'm not. Mo to ma 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 to That's not possible. You gotta be more crazy. Come on, throw your arms around or something. Hello? What's wait, 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 happening? Wait. Be more crazy, okay? He's not your uncle. And speak in a lower voice. Shut up, Tim. Be serious. I am being serious. We gotta be ready for it, right? Alice, if you're gonna do Matsumoto, you gotta really do more. Okay. Konnichiwa. Don-san. Uh, I called Steve and I got no answer. Where is he? Ah, uh, I'm not at liberty to tell you that. Tell me what's going on. Where, where is Steve? Don't play games with me. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I could tell you, but I'm not sure you would really like it. How dare you! I'm Matsumoto! 
I am saving Japan through teddy bear English. If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll cut off your balls. What? You mock me? I can't be what I'm hearing. You mock me. You mock teddy bear English. What have you got to say? Um, Steve had a mental breakdown. He left. Probably never going to see him again. We lost all our students. And we want to know where we're getting paid. I'll take a cash or check, but I can't do bank transfer. Where's Teddy? I need Teddy right now! Um, oh, oh, that's going to be tough. don't know. If I don't see Teddy right now, I'm going to be a very sour grape. Remember, I have your lives in my hands. Don and I will go find him. We'll be right back. I'll go too. No. You will stay right here with me. You know what I don't understand? You know those white bread sandwiches with no crust you get in the convenience store, in the plastic? Do they make those with crust and then cut off the crust? And if they do, what do they do with the crust? Do they give them to the homeless? They have like massive crust lines? What, what's the crust situation here? What are we doing? There is no Teddy. Teddy's dead. Oh, you're not, think, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Oh, please, no. I really will cut off your balls. Matsu, Matsu man, eh? What, what is this, huh? 
What are we doing here? I mean, come on, Mats. Really? A screwdriver? <laughs> Let's get serious here, man. Alright? I mean, the teddy bear thing, eh? It's finished. Alright? You had a good round with teddy bear, but come on, Mats. I mean, Mats, there's other animals out there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what about your little mouse, eh? Your cute little mouse? Cute little kitty cat, eh? Your cute little bunny rabbit. Now I got you. Your funny little bunny rabbit, Mats. I want you to say these two words with me, okay? Bunny rabbits. People love bunny rabbits. They're crazy about them. You want to hear about my niece? Let me tell you about my niece, all right? My niece, all right, she's seven years old. Adorable, cutest little thing you ever seen. Put some cream on top, you can eat her right up, okay? So she's having this birthday party, okay? And what do I give her? But a bunny rabbit. You see where I'm going with this, all right? I give her the bunny rabbit, turn it back. Next thing you know, she's eating with the bunny rabbit, she's sleeping with the bunny rabbit, you can't get the bunny rabbit away from her. Mats, how much clearer do I need to be? People love bunny rabbits, okay? They're crazy about them. I mean, I don't know why. All they do is poop all day, but hey, people love them. They buy real bunny rabbits. They buy stuffed bunny rabbits, okay? My mother had a bunny rabbit coat. Those were very popular in the 90s. I mean, you don't see them very much anymore, but hey, I think they're coming back, okay? Some people say they're on styles, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, Alice. Oh, Alice. Did you finish those schedules? Um, I'm not going to be able to work for you unless you treat me like a human being. Hey, I made you manager, didn't I? Look at Don. Ah, speak of the devil. I'm gonna break. Are you enjoying this? Is this gratifying? Hey, who saved your lives? <laughs> you didn't I save don't my know. life. That teddy bear saved I don't believe it. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't know why my life was so bad. I don't Oh, you're you know, you know how I've done I'm sorry about you.